Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is fashionsewingblog.com Now, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to put a facing on A facing is like a second layer of fabric that you use in order to hide uh, raw edges um, So the technique I'm going to be showing you here is how to uh, put the facing on and how to actually finish it off in the shoulder area Okay, I'm going to show you what one looks like now Okay, this is what you call an armor and neckline facing. As you can see, this is secondary fabric. And it's going to be hiding all of these raw edges here. This is what the pattern piece looks like. And obviously it's, it's on the fold. So, as you can see, it comes out as one long piece here. Okay, so that's the armor and neckline facing. Now, what you need to do in order to sew this onto garment there is actually um, a good way of doing this and particularly because it's a curved edges I'm dealing with here um, you need to start from the shoulder point here and then sew all the way down to the side seam here and this is where you stop and then you do the same again by turning your fabric you work around and start from the shoulder and then bring it all the way to the side seam again so you do all that on uh, both arm holes and also the same for the neckline too as well, is that you need to start from the shoulder point there and then work all the way to the centre front point here, okay, and that's because it's cut on the curve. So what I'm going to do, now I'm going to take my work over to the sewing machine and I'm actually going to show you how to actually sew that actual line there. I'm ready now to start sewing from the shoulder here all the way down to the centre front point here, which is halfway. Okay, the centre point is halfway. Okay, I work under the machine, put my foot down, put my needle down, make sure I'm on the right stitch length, and then start sewing a couple of stitches forward, and then a couple of stitches backwards. I'm actually going the width of my foot here. so that I can keep that pleat in place and it doesn't get a little tuck there so that um, it comes very right. Put my needle down, lift my foot up, put it down again, needle in my pin cushion, and I start sewing. Right, I'm now coming to the centre point here now, which is where I'm going to finish off my work. A couple of stitches forward and back. I'll show you one more time with the other side. Okay, this is the back I'm working on. Same procedure, foot down, needle in my work, stitches forward, stitches backwards. show you is to trim and grade and clip your work okay I'm now going to show you how to um, trim and grade the seams now I've actually done it on this one here and this is the arm hole. and as you can see it's a little bit more relaxed because I've actually clipped into it just to release the tension around the curved part of the arm hole along there and if we can make a comparison with this side, let's see. You see, I, have, I haven't trimmed and grayed and clipped into that. So we need that to look like that. So it's a bit more relaxed, the fabric. Okay, I'll just show you on the neckline here at the back. See, I've graded here. So I've trimmed the seam and then I've graded. So, and it has to be the interface side that you need to actually cut away. Okay, so because remember you're reducing the boldness that's going to be within the seam and I've clipped into it because it's a curved edge and it will make it lie flatter. Okay, right, now I've started on this side for you. So now, as you can see, I'm starting my grading and it's the interface side that I'm making smaller. Okay, 
so I'll just show you the rest of the arm hole here stuff there let's get some sharp pair of scissors you're going to use the nose of the scissors here and just kind of go halfway just take your time there's no rush remember you do want your work to look nice and professional okay that's the green side of it done now put that bit away there okay I'm now going to put just a little snip there and perhaps there just to just to help relieve the tension there a bit more and then I'm going to cut little wedges out here I'm going to do them quite big so you can see in this demonstration but you don't have to be as wide there so you're using the tip of your scissors and then you're creating like a triangular shape see there so that's what you're supposed to have a little triangular shape not as wide so I'll just do one more here I want to do it as wide so you can see so it'll probably be about like that and then just pull that away okay and then I'll do it all the way to this point here okay so that's the the, the curved part of the underarm here okay and then once you've done that so once I've now remember I've trimmed I've graded and then I've clipped into it and then the next part is actually to attach the shoulders and then we'll be complete I'm now going to show you how to sew the shoulder okay you don't do this way the technique I'm showing, going to show you now um, the garments on the right um, on the right side so what I'm going to do now is put my hand just in between the facing and the top and pull that through yeah, that's a lovely shape that it's going to be. Okay, and then I do the same with the back. Bear with me. And pull that through. So now the facing's on the inside of the garment. I'll just tuck in the facing. There we go. There, it's starting to now look nice and neat. Okay. So the next step will be is to fold the back into itself like that and then you're going to get the front and funnel that into that opening there. Okay so we now know that isn't going to be twisted Okay, using this technique and then we'll put my hand up the facing and just grab hold for that work there. So it's now sandwiched in my fingers and then I'm going to pull it through like so. Okay. Make sure I don't lose any of my work there. And then I'm going to put a few pins in, making sure you're lining up the seams. One there. And another one on the opposite side. And I'll put one more just there. And that's another one here actually. Four pins. Okay? So now you can see that nice shape circumference there. So that's where you now need to put your um, foot in in order to sew a seam around there. You can see that. Okay. So your work should be now looking like this as one. Right, and I'm going to put it on my machine and start sewing. Do bear with me, my hand is getting in the way because it's, it's quite a chicory area that I'm actually working in. I'm going to remove that pin. My hand will get in the way a little bit because I just want to make sure it's all nice and neat. And I'm also doing um, a needle down. Take the pin out, don't sew your pins. And then go back a couple of stitches. So into that area there, I'm just doing a one centimetre seam, and it, it will be it will feel a bit tricky, but you will you will manage it. Just take your time and just turn your work as you go. And take that pin out there because I don't want to sew over that. You can if you 
wish based it will be a matter of choice but um, it's a quite small area that you know if you're just placing pins in the right position that you should be okay to do it without basting okay turn the work continue so turn my work okay just keep turning it so you can get a nice drape line of stitching now that is all sewn okay and then what you do next is pull it through and there we have it the seam is now all tucked away so that's the front and obviously it's going to need um it all needs to be pressed and make sure you put the seam towards the back of the garment okay and that's what it looks like on the other side now I've shown you here where I've actually based it and you can see it's a lovely finished seam, all the raw edges on the inside and I'll just turn it to the wrong side so you can see, bear with me, there we go, I'm going to baste it into position, okay, so that's the arm hole and neckline basing and all you need to do is press. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.